Hello everybody, Rob from Hobby King here, and this is a quick video on how to update the firmware of your Orange TX-10i transmitter. For some reason, the original firmware in this system shipped without being able to save the trims. So if you turned the radio on, made some trim adjustments, and then turned it off, it didn't save those trims. So rather quickly, we set up a new firmware update to fix that. It's very simple to do. And go to the website, go to the TX-10i page, any one of them, Mode 2, Mode 1, EU, International, doesn't matter. I believe that the file is all is in all of those. You go to the Manuals and Files tab, and within that you'll see the firmware update. Right-click, Save As, Download it to Computer, and, and then run it. When you run it, uh, it's probably going to get flagged by your antivirus software as being a virus-infected file. It is not. It is a clean file. There is no virus. It's just due to the nature of the EXE. So run as administrator, disable your antivirus software briefly to let it run, whatever you got to do, but let it run because it is clean and it will not infect your computer. Just open that up. Once it's up, then you turn the radio on and I'll get a close-up of this screen show you what I'm doing when you go to system setup. Then you scroll down and you go to firmware update. It says this will enter firmware update mode and halt other functions. Press OK to confirm. OK. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> so now you're in update mode. Then connect it to the um, computer with the supplied cable. It's in there with your with your radio, and the software should automatically see it. It'll pop up and it'll say blah blah blah, you know, a bunch of serial numbers and all kinds of gobbledygook. <laughs> That's all you need. Click update. It'll do it. Takes about I don't know 12 to 15 seconds maybe, and then um, that's it. Turn the radio off. Turn it back on. You should be all set. If you have any questions about this, you can of course go to support and uh, or chat. We have a um, number of different ways of getting in touch with us. Obviously Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any one of those places. But start with the official support channels if you have any questions and this doesn't work for you. But uh, once you've done that, you'll have a radio. Saves all the trims. It's all good, and um, that's about it.